Hello, this is a quick screencast to show you how to export an audio file from Audacity into an MP3 format. There's an extra step that you're going to need to do um, in order to be able to do this. And in Audacity, you can see I just have a very short audio file that I want to export. And when I click on the file menu, I can I have some export options. And the first one is export as WAV, and that one's pretty straightforward. It's an uncompressed audio file um, that doesn't need any extra steps. And so you could always export to that. But a WAV file is generally about 10 times the size as an MP3 file, and that's why we like MP3 because it compresses it and makes it much more manageable in terms of the size. However, because of some um, licensing issues with the MP3 format, we have to, we have, to uh, have an extra step in order to make this work. So, when you're ready to export your file to an MP3, you would go into the file menu and go export as MP3. And at this point, it's going to ask you, what do you want to save the file name as? You would choose a select or uh, where you'd like to save the file. In my case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to call it test audio. You can call it whatever you want. And you'll see that the file type is MP3. Now, when I click save, the first time before you, uh, the first time you export to MP3, you're going to get this message saying it does not export MP3 files directly, but instead uses the freely available LAME library to handle MP3 encoding. You have to obtain this separately, and you could download this and go um, download it to your computer and then point to it this way. But we've already done that at school, and so the question is, would you like to locate the LAME encoder.dll now? And you want to click yes. Uh, when you get to this point, you're going to navigate to my computer. You will go to the G drive, then you will look for the Audacity folder, and then you're going to look for the LAME for Audacity folder, and you will see this LAME underscore ENC dot DLL file. You select that, you click open, and you're done with that point. Now, we're going back to continue to save in the file. This is the what they call the ID3 tags of the MP3 file, and it basically says you to give it title, artist, album, these are what... The, the fields that show up in, say, iTunes, if you see a song in iTunes, you can actually populate those fields. Not necessary to do for um, most purposes. So at this point, I'm just going to click OK. And it's exporting the song. You didn't see it happen, but if you look at my desktop, you will see that there is an MP3 file. If you have any questions about how to do that, please let me know. Thanks.